Feral Daryl Plays. Join my Roblox group, the Cedar Crew, today to be a Cedar Crew member and to be included in every of my monthly giveaways. Follow me on Twitter today, Feral Daryl Plays, or at Plays Feral, so you get notified on any important events that happen to my YouTube channel. Also, sometimes you can choose what game I should make a video for on a certain day. So follow me today on my Twitter. Hello everyone, it is the Feral Daryl that plays, and welcome back to another Overlook Bay video. And as you can see on the screen, Today is a very special day. Today is my 100th day in a row logging into Overlook Bay. Yes, that is a great milestone to reach. 100 days of playing this amazing game. Awesome, I'm so excited for that. So I've got quite a bit planned for this video today. Well, actually not really. I am going to be showing y'all what I have gotten after 100 days of playing Overlook Bay. So I'm going to show all my houses and show off my inventory to all of you guys watching. So let's get started and let's start with my inventory search. So I've got all these pets right here are my favorite. I have the shiny alicorn, that is for the giveaway on my channel, that will be coming very soon. Cupid's teddy, some ladybugs, oh by the way guys, this is not all of the pets that I have. I have many other pets on my alt accounts because I am making shinies and rainbow shinies. For example, I have another shiny celebration dragon on my alt account. Also, I have these and let's see a giraffe. I have a lot of different pets that I could give away to you guys and I will give it to you guys in the long run. So I do have many pets and I will be giving them away. However, I'm going to spread it out and also more and more pets will come to Overlook Bay as a new pet was announced today. Hopefully you would know if you follow my Twitter, you would know that. So go join my Twitter now. There are also giveaways separately on my Twitter. I'm going to host my first giveaway on Twitter starting next week. So if I were you, I would subscribe to me on Twitter and follow me so that you get notified exactly when any important information happens to me and my YouTube channel. So I do have all of the Christmas pets. I have five snowmen. So I can make a rainbow shiny and also give one away to you guys. An arctic fox, zerg, reindeer, uh, alien koala. I had a video on that already of how you get the alien koala. I have some Valentine's Day pets, yetis, ghosts, and then all of the normal pets. Okay, so I do have a lot of donkeys. I can make, I think, two rainbow shinies. Yeah, two rainbow shinies because I have eight. For Santa Clauses and a lot of squirrels and all kinds of other pets like that. These pets at the bottom are the ones that I don't pay attention to and I have no plans on making a shiny and rainbow shiny in the short term future. But this summer when there is no school I will take advantage of that and make as many shinies and rainbow shinies as I possibly can and give them away to you guys my fans in the Cedar Crew. Okay, so back to the video, we have a whole lot of pets. Look at my pet pod collection, I have a lot. Firework Cannon. Firework Cannon is my favorite item in the game. I did a video over the Firework Cannon a few days ago and why it is the best item in the game and why it will become super, super rare. So if you haven't already, watch that video and also I would recommend that you buy or trade for a Firework Cannon as soon as possible before they get too rare. I got Megan plush, and I have a whole bunch of other things as well. The Valentine's Teddy plush, I have all these fireworks, and the normal Halloween items. So I won't show you those. And the food, I have the Coco Valentine. It's the same as the Chocolate Santa, but from Valentine's Day. I have Gingerbread Man Cookie from Christmas, and I have Hot Chocolate from Cookie from Christmas as well. And then my vehicles. This is my favorite one. The Shadow Cruiser, it was from Halloween. It is really my favorite vehicle. I I barely started playing during Halloween, so I don't have too much stuff from Halloween because I started playing pretty much right after Halloween. Okay, so here's my other things, the skateboards and all this other stuff. So guys, if you're wondering right now, okay, Feral Daryl, I see that you've got all this stuff, but how did you get all of this stuff in just 100 days? The simple answer, 
is I made all of these videos and I made one video, how to get gyms fast in Overlook Bay. Actually, I made two of those because one of those came out yesterday or at least a few days ago. And I've been following those guides that I've made myself and I've got tons and tons of gyms. For example, I have 12,000 gyms. You can see right now on my screen, I have 12,000 gyms. And I would keep buying more and more pet bods and especially save up for the limited time events and I would buy everything in those events. As you saw earlier, I had a lot of Christmas pet pods and Halloween pet pods left because I hoard them so that I can sell them later for a much higher price. I would do the same. Like for example, one of my Halloween pet pods right now goes for about a legendary or godly pet. So I would continue to save them until they're worth like a shiny legendary or a shiny godly. That would be really awesome. So that's exactly how I got all of this stuff. I would save up all of my gems from the tutorials I would make, and then I would save them and spend them all on the new in-game items. So let's go into my house. This is my tiny starter house. I only use this house about the first five days I played this game. So it was day one through five, basically. And I really almost never use this house. I'm not quite sure why I still have it. I should probably just sell it for gems. But there's nothing too interesting in here and nothing I will explore and look at again. And I will never revisit this house again. And let's see, my cute cuddly condo. That is the house that I always have out pretty much all of the time. So I built this kitchen right here. It is really, really nice. It is my favorite room in the whole house. Actually, I'm not sure. There's a lot of wonderful rooms in my house. This living room is a little bit boring. I didn't spend much time on it. This dining room is kind of cool. This bathroom is pretty empty. There's not much in the bathroom, but this is a really nice house already. Like I spent a lot of money on the house itself. And then I had to spend more gems just to decorate it. So this house is very expensive. Um, but still, I got all of the money from the tutorials that I made, and then I spent it all on house things like this just to make my house a little bit better because I do spend a lot of my time in Overlook Bay in my house. This room right here, this is one of my favorite rooms, and this bathroom, this is my favorite room of the whole house. I remember spending about an hour just on this bathroom, but back when I built the bathroom, you had other things to do as well. Like you had to take care of yourself, you had to wash your hands, and you had to do other stuff as well to yourself, which is why I have the sink, the toilet, and all of these other things that are not used in Overlook Bay anymore. I really wish that they can bring that back, but we're going to keep exploring the rest of the house because that is not the topic of this video. Upstairs, I have nothing. I have this right here, this little computer with the gaming headset. I like to call this my gaming area because this is kind of what my gaming setup looks like at home. And in this room over here, in this bedroom and bathroom, I have absolutely nothing. But that is okay. So I do have one more house left. Ooh, go to work. I do not want to go to work, but I will later. Next, Gingerbread Manor. So I bought this house during Christmas. And I was never really a fan of it, but I don't mind too much. I will still, of course, take this house and decorate it because this is my quote unquote Christmas house. So this is what it looks like. It is a really pretty house. And I'm going to get on my celebration dragon once again because it is my favorite pet in the game. And I do believe it is the most useful in the game as well. So this house is my favorite house. Kind of like the outside is my favorite. But the inside, I do believe it is a little small for the price that I bought it for. And I can't remember off the top of my head how much gingerbread it was. I mean cookies. Okay, so this is the inside of my house. It is very Christmas-like. I bought all of the wintertime furniture sets and everything in here is pretty much all the Christmas furniture sets. So in here is my bed. Look at this. This is the coolest bed I've ever seen in any game before. That is a really cool bed. Wow, they should add more cute little stuff like that in the future. So this is my favorite room in this house. This is a kitchen on one side and the other side is like the playing area for the kids. Like the grown-ups can make dinner while the kids play in the playing area behind the kitchen. Then upstairs, I never really got around to building upstairs because I was too focused on getting cookies 
in the Christmas update. And then once Christmas passed and it became the new year, I switched back over to my other house, so I completely forgot about it. Also over here at the wishing well, I want to show you how many wishes I have. Oh, 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 okay. So it won't tell me right now, but I do have about 65 wishes all saved up for the next update. So if you guys want to see that video, well, I will be unlocking the new Shamrock Cow in the St. Patrick's Day update. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified exactly when that video comes out. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up button and comment your Roblox username in the comment section below so that you can be entered in the next Overlook Bay giveaway. This is just for Overlook Bay as I'm doing a giveaway on Overlook Bay first and then I will do one on Adopt Me later. So once again guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl that plays. Goodbye!